Vault opening. Welcome to the vault. <laughs> Hello, what is up, you dazzling diamonds and the others and the chillers? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Linda Kyle and this is The Vault. Anyway, you guys, let's get straight into this video. Guys, I just watched a live that was very, very unsettling, right? Podcast and Chill just did a live to try and explain the soul situation. And boy, was it a mess. It was a joke. And like I said before, it was, it was extremely uncomfortable and unsettling. You know, Saul has said on many occasions that radio is dead and he has drilled it into the chillers' heads. But now that he's going where he's going, Saul is changing his tune. So basically, Saul Penduga lied to us. And that's my opinion. And he cannot be trusted. And that is my opinion. The way Saul used to tell us that radio was dead with so much vigor and oomph. Baby, if I didn't know radio at that point, I would have never even um, tried to listen to the radio because of what Saul and McGee have said about the radio. I would have just thought it is so whack, right? And today, it's just very peculiar that Saul is going back to the radio. Yes, he's a broadcaster, but baby, you're broadcasting on the, on, on the thing, on the podcast as well. So what do you mean? Right? Saul played us all. And that is it. That is the bottom line, full stop. Today, Saul is saying that, he's, he's putting it this way. Radio is not doing the things. In today's live, that, in today's live that's what he said. But before, he was telling us how crappy and shitty radio is. It's a totally different story. Because now he has a new gig on radio. So which one is it, Saul? Which one is this one, Solly boy? Mm? <laughs> Saul really needs to pick a lane. And that is bad. And it's going to be bad. And don't say I didn't say it. Right? And by the way, they asked on the pod, on, on, on the thing on the podcast today, why are people trying to box Saul in? Ain't nobody trying to box Saul in. He does many other things. The fact of the matter is, those things are not competitors of the podcast. Radio is, and they have drilled that into our heads. And so we picked a side. We picked the podcast. What are they teaching us? It's basically saying that everything that we have said on the podcast has been a lie. Everyone was at, and I said it. None of this is authentic, as authentic as the podcast is supposed to be, and censored, and all these things. It's it's inauthentic, right? Ho 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 ho, Mac G, Mac Jizzle, my nigga, Mac G. Today, Mac G. <laughs> Is so proud to get a blue tick, as he said, from radio that they wanted one of his own. He is proud. He said he's proud to get a blue tick from radio. Do you guys understand how, how it just contradicts everything that we know about the podcast and about Saul? And like, gee, you're starting to look a bit questionable too. I mean, come out with your authenticity and tell us your real feelings because damn, y'all look very tipsy. Like there was a lot of emotions um, floating around in that studio today. And unfortunately, Ghost Lady is off, you know, so she couldn't really, <laughs> she just, it just wasn't the same. Now I'm not saying, and I've said that podcast and chill is not going to die, but as time goes on and the change starts to become noticeable it's going to be different it's going to shift and that is a problem right yes podcast and chill was there before saul came on but when saul came on we all know it and they gained um the new subscribers with saul and mcg and the ghost lady ghost lady will be back but at some point saul is going to disappear from the podcast because they're going to get stricter and tighter on him on that other platform. And that's on period. They reeled him in. They got him in. And I told you guys, at some point, Saul is going to fold. 
You can see it in his face. You can hear the things he says. And there was a question that he asked that made you ask some. He said, what about how the chillers feel? Because you have been saying that radio is bad or radio is dead. And now today you're going back to, to, to radio. And do you guys actually know how Saul answered that question? He answered that question by not freaking answering that question. You understand what I mean? I was very upset. so upset. I was like, which one is this one, Sonny boy? You know what I mean? I really cannot believe what I just watched. Sis, man. Yes, sis. People don't have backbones. People are not loyal. And the fact that you can come out here and pretend and we can see right through you, it's very upsetting, actually. And that is my opinion. You duped us all. And that's on period. Anyway, um, I do wish the podcast much success moving on. They should probably get me, like I said before, in Saul's seat. <laughs> that would be very interesting, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I have a feeling that you know exactly. What I mean. <laughs> Hashtag get Linda Kyle on the pop. No, no. That's too long. Hashtag Linda Kyle for podcast and chill. Type of situation. Baby, you need to shoot your shot. You know what I mean? Girls gotta try. But I must say, shame sis. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed that nobody came out with their real feelings. Nobody told us the truth today. Mechi, you are so proud. That you got a blue tick from radio. And in the same, in the same, in the same life, you just said that people don't take the podcast seriously. Obviously, Saul doesn't take it seriously, and that's why he's doing what he's doing. Eventually, he's going to leave. So I don't know why you would hang on to him. This is a conflict of interest in some kind of way. You need to get somebody else. That's it. Right? Anyway, you guys, let me finish my ghost pops. And relax. Um, if you guys haven't already, please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And you guys will hear me in the next one. Hashtag Linda Kyle for podcast and chill. <laughs> Ooh, I kill myself. Bye, you guys.